the next uh, concept is pure rolling and this is the most important concept for JE mains as well as uh, NEAT. So remember it is uh, pure rolling. Clear? So the concept itself. So rolling series uh, 3, third concept in rolling. Rolling series, pure rolling. Neat. Okay. So let us uh, understand the last two concepts of uh, rolling, what we studied, and then we will continue from there. What do you mean by pure rolling? Uh, you all will understand. <laughs> okay. So today's whole class will run behind only the pure rolling. So what do you mean by pure rolling? That is all we will discuss now. So first of all, before going to study about the pure rolling, so we all people know that in circular motion, sorry, rolling means it is a combination of two motions. What is that? Everybody? One is? Yeah. One is translation motion and another one is what motion? Everybody? One is? Rotation. Rotation motion. So, now if take a view, so when the body is in rolling, so we all know that it is in translation plus rotational. So as we all studied that already, so at every point, if you want to calculate the velocity or if you want to calculate the speed, for example, if I have taken any object is in rolling, so I want to find the speed of a speed of these three particles, either it is a disc or sphere or a, uh, a ring or whatever it is. So now this is a point A, this is a point B, and this is a point C, and this is a point D. So velocity at the center of mass is actually VCOM. Let me take it. Now I want to find the velocity of this all the four particles. So first if I take this particle, so what is this everybody? Of course, angular velocity is omega. So at this particle, what is the velocity everybody? It is having a two velocities. One is translation velocity. What is translation velocity is what? VCOM, am I right? Brothers, tell me fastly. And as well as it is rotating also in the same direction so that rotational motion also will be the same, which is equals to, what is that guys? R. R so, what is the total velocity? V plus R omega. That is what is the thing. Now, at this point, what is happening? The velocity is acting in this direction, translation, and the rotational will act in the perpendicular direction, R omega. So, net velocity will act in between them. So, what is the net velocity formula? Everybody, V net equals to, net velocity of a B is equals to root over V square plus R omega square. R omega. That's what it is. So, we all know that V is equals to R omega. Even if I replace that here, what will happen everyone? So V square plus R omega means V square, which is equals to 2V square. So what is the answer will come? Everybody? Root 2V. Am I right, everyone? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. So same way now at this point. So at this point, this velocity is acting in this direction, but it is rotating in this opposite. So that rotational velocity is R omega. So what is the velocity here, everybody? V minus R omega. Yes, please, all of you. Now at the point D, so this velocity is V and the perpendicular velocity is R omega. So net velocity will act between them. So D point net velocity is equals to again same thing. V square plus R omega whole square, which is equals to root 2 V. Am I right, everybody? Will you all agree with me? Yes, sir. Yes, no, sir. we all studied or not? So now, this is what we all studied, how to calculate the velocity and speed at a particular point in a rolling motion. Now let us see, what do you mean by pure rolling? That is what, what is the meaning of pure rolling means, now notice it very carefully, a point of contact, contact to the what? Point of platform, the point where it is contacting to the platform, it must be in a rest then it is called as rest in the sense of with respect to what guys with respect to everybody with respect to ground or we can say platform so the point of contact so in this abcd point which is the point of contact anybody abcd contact which is the point of contact to the surface yes please c, c. so the point of contact if it is in rest with respect to the ground then that is called as Pure rolling. Okay. Understand the dress for what is meaning pure rolling. So now if you notice it, for example, so let me take again the same circular uh, rolling motion. So if I have taken, I will choose the points. So let me take this point. Let me take some X point if I take it. 
and this is uh, some y point and this is some z point now it is in contacting with the surface so which point is in contacting with the surface everybody yes please so which is in contacting with the surface let me take that point in the surface is p clear everyone so now what they are saying everybody so now let me take the velocity of center of mass center of mass is uh, vc so if you have noticed it everybody so what do you mean by pure rolling means point of contact must be in rest so what when the when the point of contact will be considered as a rest anybody can tell everybody when the point of contact will be in rest anyone yes okay let it be so at this point we all knows that velocity is equals to vc plus r omega at this point velocity is equals to speak loudly everybody what will happen root 2v and at this point you all should speak so velocity is what velocity in translation motion is acting in a forward direction and velocity in rotational motion which is acting in a what direction speak loudly guys backward direction so that velocity at point z which is equals to v minus r omega is equals to zero am i right everybody yes or no because they are saying yes. that because they are saying that it must be in a rest means in a sense of what is the velocity of a point p mr mr rudreshwar pradosh this is a platform platform or a ground what is the velocity of a point p everybody the platform is in rest 95 percent cases in according to you platform is always in a rest so what is the velocity of a platform anybody platform is in rest so what is the velocity of a platform everybody yes please zero so velocity of a platform that point p is zero so when we can say the point of contact is in rest means the z point is also velocity will become zero that is what net velocity then that is called as we used to say relative speed so at this time the body is said to be in pure rolling so there is a condition also so if it is in a pure rolling it has to rotate with the what angular velocity that is what we are going to calculate so the net velocity of a z point will become zero then that is only called as pure rolling so uh, we know what is the speed of your pure uh, that z point everybody v minus r w so v minus r omega is equals to zero from that v is equals to everybody v means vc r. vc is equals to r omega then omega is equals to what everyone vc divided by so this is the condition most important condition whenever in a rolling motion keep it in mind everybody whenever in a rolling motion if angular velocity they have mentioned will solve many things if angular velocity angular velocity is vc by r then that is said to be in what motion everybody pure rolling clear everyone understanding pradosh this is the most important whenever angular velocity will become vc by r then that is called as what everyone it is called as pure rolling so 95 percent cases remember it is true because in this all these cases platform is considered to be what platform is considered to be in what guys in rest only so keep it in mind according to class 11th of course there will be a five percent platform is also having velocity we will solve that so keep it in mind whenever angular velocity omega will become vc by r then that case is said to be what everybody it is pure rolling clear rudresh sir pradosh understand ah yes, yes sir so pure rolling means omega angular velocity is equals to r omega now so this is the case keep it in mind in pure rolling pure rolling of a object anything disc or, or a ring or a, a sphere or whatever it is always vc velocity of a center of mass must be is equals to r omega so this is the case which we is to call it as do you understand everybody this is vc are the point of contact point of contact and this is the r omega so both are perpendicular uh, sorry they are both are perpendicular opposite to each other and they both must be equal then that is the case we used to call it as a what everyone please respond that is call it as pure rolling so in this case pure rolling means keep it in mind no slipping of the object no slipping no forward slipping or no backward slipping just it is a pure rotation rolling when when the velocity of a center of mass is equals to r omega i hope you all understand anybody having any doubt you can ask me are you clear everybody 
Yes, please respond. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, if I have taken now, for example, let me take everybody. If, for example, velocity of a center of mass is greater than r omega. Next second case, r omega is r omega is greater than velocity of a center of mass. Now you tell me the slipper, the, it is called as slippery. So it, by this time, slipping will take place. Now it is a forward slipping or backward slipping or you all should say. Now this is a VC. So this is the point of contact. So observe very carefully. This is the point of contact and this is VC and this is R omega. Now you tell me it is VC is greater than velocity of center of mass is greater than R omega. So can you tell me the rolling width, rolling width forward slipping or backward slipping in this case, everybody, this velocity is greater. So that what will happen? This is rolling with everyone. It is rolling with the forward slipping. Please note it. Rolling with the forward slipping when velocity of center of mass is greater than r omega. So only the point of contact. Now, if r omega is greater than r omega is greater than vc, then what will happen, everybody? Anybody can tell? It is forward slipping or backward slipping. Everyone, it respond. Rolling with backward slipping. Is it okay, guys? All of you? Please respond. That is what you have to remember. Understand for those? Everybody? So this is 95% of cases in your according to 11th class. So only when it is a pure rolling, omega is equals to Vc divided by R. Anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. I also will proceed further. Are you clear, Mr. Rishi? Rohit? Sai Gaurde? Clear everyone. If VC is greater than R omega, but in this all these cases, forward rolling and backward uh, backward slipping. Every case is what is the velocity of a platform? Everybody. Velocity of a platform. VP is equals to what? Everyone? Please respond. VP is equals to zero. Platform is always in state of rust. If you involve in class, it will be good. Otherwise, I won't get interest to teach you also. That's what it is. Now, let me take next one. There is a rolling. It is a pure rolling or not. You should find it. So now there is a platform down where it is point of contact so flat form p is having a velocity of v naught and the center of mass is having a velocity of v and the point of contact i am taking as a z and the radius is r now you tell me it is flat form is not in state of rest so it is not we can say the, the it is not a pure rolling you can notice it everybody here so here if you notice it all of you so what is happening everyone the platform is also having a velocity of what? Everybody? Platform is having a velocity of what? Yes, please. Yeah. V naught. Clear, everyone? So now, if you notice in this case, so what is the VP? Velocity of this particle, platform. Can you tell me? What is the velocity of the particle? Everybody? Speak loudly. Which is equals to what? V naught. And v -naught. if the platform velocity is V naught means, so can you tell me, what is the velocity of Velocity of Vz, this velocity of Vz, anybody can tell? Velocity of Vz. Yes, please. Velocity of Vz, we want to find it. So now let us see. So Z is with respect to what? Everybody. Z is with respect to P. Z is at rest or state of motion. Everybody. Z is at, if Z is at rest with respect to P, then what we used to call? It is called as? Just now we studied. Z is at rest with respect to P. That is called as what? Everybody. It is called as P. But here, the velocity of P is V naught means in the sense of what is the velocity of Vz also? Everyone? Anybody can tell? Velocity of Vz also what? It is in contact with that, guys. It is a, uh, sir, what we can say it is? Sir? Relative motion. So if velocity of the P is Vz, V naught means, then what, what is the velocity of Vz also? Jet particle also, what will happen? It will also become, yes, please, V naught. Understand everyone? So, with relative motion. So, velocity of a jet is also will become V naught. Now, we all know that if I consider a jet particle, so all of you observe very carefully, forward, we are having a Vz and as well as uh, Vc and backward, which is having a R omega. So, now I want formula. So, how it will come? So Vz is equals to, we all know that, velocity of a Z particle, which is equals to what? Before what we have written? If a particle is at, sorry, the platform is at zero, we have written Vc minus R omega is equals to zero. But now the particle is not in zero. It is in Vz velocity. So that Vz is equals to what will happen, everybody? 
VC minus, please speak loudly. VC minus R omega. R omega. So that's all it is now. So we all know that VZ is equals to V naught. So I will write V naught is equals to VC minus R omega. So now R omega is equals to V naught minus VC. Sorry, VC minus V naught. Any problem? Everybody clear? I hope you all understand. So this R omega will come this side. V naught will go this side. So now omega is equals to Vc minus V naught divided by R. This is the formula for omega. When? Anybody can tell? Yes, please. This is the omega value. When? When flat form P is also having a, the point of contact, P is also having a velocity of what? Everyone? Yeah. Velocity of some V naught. It is not in a con it is not in rest. If not in rest, then angular velocity omega is equals to V C minus V naught divided by R. So please note it. Any doubt you can ask me. Brothers, are you clear? Everybody? If any problem, please let me know. Understand everyone? So if it is a Z means, then V Z is equals to V P. So V Z is equals to V P, which is equals to V naught. Note it, everybody. Clear everyone? Understand Nara? So there is a yes, sir. So this is what it is. Okay, everybody. So now, so if it is a pure rolling, be very careful, all of you. If it is a pure rolling and flat form is 95% cases, as I said, flat form is in what? State of rest. So means omega is equals to what, guys? By this time, you all should learn that. Omega is equals to what? Pure rolling. If it is the pure rolling, omega is equals to, speak loudly, that must be a major thing. So omega is equals to what, everybody? VC divided by R. So if I take a particle now, the center, center velocity is Vc and it is in a contacting with the surface somewhere. Now I want to find the velocity, velocity of A, velocity of a B, velocity of a C and velocity of a D. It is a pure rolling. Okay. So now I will give you at point A velocity is 2Vc, at point B velocity is root 2Vc, at point C velocity is 0. And point D, velocity is again root 2 Vc. Will you all agree with me? This is just now I have taught, but once again I am teaching. Am I right, everyone? Clear, everybody? So at point C, what is happening, everybody? Point C, Vc, and backside, what is happening? R omega. So what will happen finally? Vc is equals to R omega. So that what is the velocity, everybody? Vc is equals to that. What is the velocity, everyone? Zero. So if it is zero only, it is called it as a what? Pure rolling. Next, at A point. A point VC is acting and R omega is also acting the same. So that VC is VC plus R omega. So VC plus R omega, we all know that VC is equals to R omega. So I will replace R omega means VC, which is equals to what guys? VC plus VC, which is equals to everybody. Two yes, VC. Two VC. Second one, VC is acting and R omega is acting downward. So we all know that R omega is equals to what are brothers? R omega is equals to VC. Am I right, everybody? Speak loudly, guys, which is equals to so VC square plus VC square, which is equals to 2 VC square root over, which is equals to root 2 into VC. That's all it is. Same way here, VC and up to R omega. R omega is equals to VC. So net resultant is equals to root over VC square plus VC square, which is equals to root 2 vc square which is equals to root 2 into vc mr narayan understand narayan abc point if it is a pure if it is a pure rolling this is how the velocity of a particles you have to find it any doubt princey you can ask me sai karthik understand mr rohit mr murali Ani and samaya this is what is about the pure rolling okay so pure rolling means the point of contact it must be in a what everybody point of contact must be in Rest means it's VC is equal to R omega. If the point of contact in rest with respect to whom? It must be in a rest with respect to? Ground. Ground. So no slippery, no forward slipping and no backward slipping. Always, if it is a pure rolling, VC must be is equal to R omega. That's what you have to remember. I hope you all understand. Anybody have any doubt, you can ask me. Clear, everybody? Yes. yes. Yeah. So now, in if you take a NEET and JE, JE mostly you can get uh, multiple choice like multiple choice questions but multiple answers are correct so let us solve that multiple answer correct you all i am giving time to you people you all should answer me very fastly at least one option correct answer you can say multiple option correct it is given in a iit 2009 actually question so multiple option question related to very pure rolling 
So completely pure role, just I will give you that and you have to tell me that, okay? So options. So let me take it now. I will giving you point C and this is the point B, center of actually it is. And the point of contact is point A. Okay, wow. So the rest of the brothers understand. These are the three points. Point A, point B and as well as point C. Now option A, VC is minus VA is equals to two times of VB minus VC. Second option, VC minus VB is equals to VB minus VA. Purima, Ella may understood. Next, clear everybody. Next, C. Mod of VC minus VA. What do you mean by mod? Negative also will become positive. Two times of VB minus VC. Next, option D. Mod of VC minus VA, which equals to four times of mod of VB. This is the option. So, multiple options are correct. So, it is remember rolling, rolling without slipping or with slipping. Everybody, rolling, all of you, without slipping, without slipping means in the sense of it is the pure rolling, pure rolling. Just I'm giving you one minute time. Let me see who will say everybody. Make it fast, clear, everybody. Just even answer is there in above. Above, if you remember this all, you can solve it very fast. That's all. Make it quick, everyone. Do it fast. First option, verify. Option one, right or wrong. Multiple options are correct. I'm giving one minute time. You take two minutes also, no problem, but I want to answer. Everybody have to answer, then only I will explain. Make it quick. So it is an x-axis. You can use i-cap also. That's not nothing wrong. You can use x-axis. Yeah. Yeah. Option A, correct. Rudreswa. Yes, Pradosh. Option A is right according to you. Trying only. Can I teach you one example? At least one option I will teach you later. You can see. First option A, let me see that. Everybody. We'll choose a different color. Here itself I'll solve. You, you cannot spend more time. So VC. What is the velocity at C? Anybody can tell? Velocity C is a pure rolling. So this is VC and this oh, is yeah. R omega. Ray, which is equal to water zero. Am I right? Ah? Yes or no? Yes. Please respond. Minus. VA. Oh, this is A point. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, A point is zero. So first A, B, Y, this is tell me everybody. What is A point? Uh, sorry, C point. C point is what? This side VC and mm -hmm. R omega also same. same. R omega is equals to VC, which is equals to what? Everybody. 2 VC. Correct? Ah? Yes, please. And what is the center of mass velocity? Center of mass velocity is VC. That's all. And point A is zero. If you know these values, you can finish it. So VC is zero minus VA is what? 2 VC. Which axis? I X axis. So I cap, which is equals to 2 into, what is the VB? VB. VB is what, guys? Speak loudly. I forgot it here. VB minus VC, guys. Yeah. Tell me VB means what, Ra? VB means what? VC minus of VC. Mm -hmm. VC means uh, 2 VC, which is equals to what? Address, uh, minus 2 VC minus 2 VC, uh, 2 V I, which is equals to, here you can notice it. So, 2 into 2 into 2 VC minus 2 into 2 4 VC I cap. So, is it equal? Both are equal or not equal? Yes, please. Equal. Both are equal or not equal? VB, VB and VC. Everybody? Yes, please. Here I made mistake. One minute. Sorry. Here is the reverse I have written. Have you noticed it? VA is 0. Ratara, brothers. VA is 0. VC is 2VC. 2VC I cap. Now tell me. So this side, if I do the subtraction, I will get minus 2VC I cap. And this side, I will get 2VC I cap. Is it both are equal? This is plus and this is minus. Is it equal? Sir. Yes. Is it equal? Sir. This is 2 VC, this is minus 2 I. So option A is wrong. Once again, I'll say everybody, VC is 2 VC minus 0 I cap because it is a X axis. I will take it. Vector form you can write. 2 into VB is VC minus VC means 2 VC. This point is C point, guys. Let us say right here you might COM. That is better. Okay. So VCOM. So now if I do the subtraction, so what will happen? This one will become minus 2VCOM and this side 2VCOM. Is it both are equal? That is what is my question. Everybody? 
Yes, please. This is plus and this is minus. It is not equal. So option A is wrong. Okay, Rudreshwar, Mr. Narayan, clear? Yes, please. Everybody? Do you understand yes, or not? Sir. Yeah. Option B. What is VC wrong? Option B, tell me what is a VC? Option B. Option B. VC means what? 2VCOM minus mm. VB means VCOM, which is equals to VB means VCOM minus VA means 0. So 2V minus 1 is equals to VCOM, which is equals to VCOM. So both are LHS equals to RHS. So it is right or wrong? Everyone? Yes, please. Yes, right. Next, next one. VC, mod of VC. Mod of VC means VCTOM, VA means 0, which is equals to this one. Mod of VB. VB means what? VCOM v minus. Yeah. 2VCOM. You speak only, it will be very nice. So it is putting mod. So if I take mod means, what will happen? Everything will become what? Yes, please. Mod means inside plus or minus, it will become what? Just only. So that 2VCOM and this is also 2VCOM. So both are what? Everybody? Yes, please. Equal. So option C also right. Next option D. Option D verify. VC means 2VC mod COM minus 0, which is equals to 4 into VCOM. Okay. So, which is equals to 4 VCOM. It, this is equals to 2 VCOM. Is it equal? Everybody? No, sir. No. So, what is the correct options? All of you? Option B and BC. option B and option C. That's all it is. Clear, everyone? I hope you all understand. Once again, if you want to solve, you can solve. This is the most important multiple options question. That's why JE instructions you have to read very carefully because there will be a section in JE always multiple options are correct for some questions. So there will be a complete session where multiple options are correct. Even in NEET, there will be a sec some questions. You can check it, particular sections. So you have to verify it. Every option, either it is a right or wrong. That is the reason this example I'm teaching you. So in a pure rolling, always remember omega is equals to what? Everybody? In pure rolling? Yes. VC by R. Omega is equals to VC by R. That is what we used to call as pure rolling. Any doubt in this question, you can ask me. Mr. Pradeep, understand? Mr. Rohit? Pradosh? Okay? Yes, sir. Solve it. If you understand this, then we'll proceed further. Mana and Samya understand everybody? Yes? yes sir. You? Yeah. Now yes, sir. Yes. So last class, I I, uh, I think last yesterday, day before yesterday, I have taught you one question. Velocity, calculating the velocity of a point in a pure rolling or rolling motion. All of you are very, very carefully observe and tell me what is the option? What is the answer? We have solved it. So this is what it is. Now if the particle is here, we all know that Vc is equal to R omega. So means the particle is in what? Everybody. Vc, Vc is equal to R omega. So we can say Vc minus R omega is equal to zero even when the particle is here. Now imagine the point is just above from the ground in a certain point. This is the height P we have been taken. So at this point, we all know we have solved this question also. Do you remember Mr. Rudreshwar? Perpendicular. So angle is, this is 90 and this is 90 minus theta. 90 minus theta, the total angle is we have taken 180. Do you remember everybody? 180 minus theta which is equals to theta. Yes, please respond all of you. Yes, sir. First, all this question. So imagine this is the pure rolling. In the case of this one, if it is a pure rolling, clear? If it is a pure rolling means having omega and having a radius r. So I want what is the velocity formula? Velocity of this particle p, we have calculated it. Options also I have given. Verify your notes book and tell me. One is v sin theta. Option B, V cos theta. Option C, 2V cos theta by 2. And option D, 2V sin theta by 2. Can you tell me what is the answer correct? Verify it. If you want to teach me, again I will teach. Can I teach it or shall we proceed? It is a very simple one. You can solve it. Yes, please. What is the correct option? Verify your notebooks and tell me. Guys, everybody? What is the option, brothers? What is the correct answer? Velocity well, of a particle at this point. See the options, your notebooks, just two days before only I have taught. Yes, Rudresha. So, okay, let us proceed now. So, as we know, this is uh, this is also R omega. R omega is equals to Vc. 
and this is also V or VC. I will take it. And what is the angle between them, everybody? 180. 180 minus theta. So I want to find the resultant vector. So what is the resultant vector? Formula, which is equals to root over. If you are silent, life will be like this only. Nothing is going to happen. 2AB cos theta. So we have been done that and I have taught you also. You can verify the answer. So I can verify it. So VC is equals to R omega. So I'll replace it. V square plus V square plus 2 into VC into VC. That's what? V, V, V cos 180 minus theta. At least now you can remember notebooks. If you turn off, really you can check it. So 2V square plus 2V square. This is cos 180 minus theta is what? Everybody? Cos theta, which is equals to 2V square minus 2V square cos theta. So I will take it as a 2V square outside. So if I replace it, 2V square into 1 minus cos theta. So root over, it is equals to, so root 2 into V into, so we all know, I will apply it. Okay, 2V square, 1 minus cos theta formula. Anybody can tell? 1 minus cos theta is equal to 2 sin square theta by 2. Or we can say 1 minus cos 2 theta is equals to 2 sin square theta. Please learn the formula. Now, uh, do you remember notebook you have done or not? I think day before yesterday I have taught you. Yes, sir. Right? For those, that's what. So, I will write it 2 sin square theta by 2. So, if I remove the root, what will happen? It will turn into root 2 into V into. So, 2, sorry, root 2 into 2, root 4. So, it will, uh, root 4 means, what is a, what is a root 4? Value, 2 only. Correct? Mm -hmm. So, 2V sin, sin square will get cancelled. What is the answer? 2V sin theta by 2. So, this is the formula of velocity of a particle, which is not at the contact, which is just above. So, what is the correct option we have done? 2V sin theta by 2. This is the formula which you have to remember. In a pure rolling, just again I am re revising that question. In pure rolling, if you want to find the velocity of a particle, any particle on the surface, uh, on the rolling, pure rolling, this is the formula you can use it. Clear everyone? So, for example, let me take now how we can calculate. For example, if I take here, so it is ro rolling. So with angular velocity, angular velocity equals to what? Vc by pure rolling guys, Vc by r. So having a velocity of v. Now if the particle is at here, if the point is at here, imagine this. If the point is at here, what is that everybody? Vc is equals to r omega. So we all know that. What is the point of, let me take this point is uh, uh, some x point if I take. So what is the velocity of x point everybody? Pure rolling. Zero. Velocity of x point is what? Zero. Now, if the same x will come to this point, imagine. So, now tell me, if it is exactly here, velocity is 0. For example, if velocity, if it will come here, can you tell me what is the angle it is making? 90. Yes? What is making Ra? 90. If it is exactly will come to this point, what is that, Rudraswa? Suppose if the, exactly it will come to this point. What is that? How much angle it is making? 180. 180 right. degrees. So, by that time, let me find the velocity at this point and this point. So all of you observe how to find very simple. So 2V sin 180 divided by 2. So which is equals to 2V sin 180 divided by 2. Sin theta is equals to what? Sin 180 by 2. 90. So sin 90 is equals to what guys? 1. So what is the velocity? What is the velocity at this point? Everybody? 2V. Is it right or wrong? Verify it. Is it right or wrong? Verify everybody. Is the velocity at the point is 2V. Am I right? Yes sir. Yes, yes sir. Now, at this point, I want to find. At this point, I want to find the velocity. Let us see that. By the time, what is the angle? 90. So, 2V sin. Sin 90 divided by 2, which is equals to what? 2V sin? 45 degrees. Correct or not? So, sin 45 value. Sin 45 value? 1 by root 2. 1 by root 2. So, which is equals to? What is the exact answer, brother? Rudreswar, at the time? At the root point? 2V. Huh? Root 2V. So, we can solve it. We can see. So, both what we can say? Both numerator and denominator will multiply with what? root 2 into root 2 so that it will turn into 2 root 2 v divided by 2 okay 2 2 will get cancelled what is the answer yes please you understand everyone mm -hmm. yes brothers so this is the formula we can use yes. right this is the formula we can use to calculate to calculate uh, velocity of any point in pure rolling so please note it velocity of any point in pure rolling this is the formula we can use. For example, I'll make, this is the angular velocity rotational motion. All of you observe very carefully. Now particle is at here. Calculate the velocity of this particle, which is at 30 degrees. Now what is the angle can you take? 
from this point actually from the contact you have to take now you will take what 2v sin 30 r sin 150 r 150 150 that is important why from the contact be very careful from the contact because pure rolling means the, at this point velocity will become what everybody yes please zero so from that point so th 30 means sin 180 minus 30 divided by 2 which is equals to 2v sin 150 by 2 which is equals to what everybody 2 sin 75 degrees so if you substitute the 75 degrees value, you will get the velocity at this point. Are you clear, everybody? Do you understand all of you? Yes? Yes, sir. Yeah. So that's what it is. So now, for example, I'll give one more question. You have to be very fast. Otherwise, it is very tough. So let me take now. I will I will give you in the exam, for example. Imagine this is what is 60 degrees. So find the value of the point. Everybody, make it fast. Velocity of a point P. Make it quick. Just V. Yes. 2V sin. 60 by 2, which is equals to what? 2V sin 30. What is the sin 30 value? Sin 30 value? 1 by 2. 1 by 2. 1 by 2. 1 by 2. What is the velocity of a particle P if it is a 60 degrees? V. v. Understand? Uh? Pradeep, Mr. Narayan, clear? Everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is the most important concepts. That's what I'm saying you. If you understand, it's very simple. If I'm not understanding, it is very tough. Meeting is going to end till here you finish it and we'll join back. Okay. Make it quick, everyone. You understand, Pradoshe? Any doubt? Ask me. Yes, sir. Samia. So we will use the formula. If you want to calculate in a pure rolling, velocity of any point doesn't matter. Velocity of any point, what is the formula? 2v? 2v sin theta by 2. That's all. Clear? So solve it. Meeting is going to end. We'll come back. And join the second meeting, we'll start now the acceleration and we'll continue with the frictionless surfaces and all. We'll see that at least till acceleration we'll study. Okay. So make it quick, all of you. Clear, Mane.